by thanking Sheriff McMahon, Chief Evangelist, and District Attorney Ben David for their continued efforts to serve and protect our community. But today I would like our law and order leaders to consider their duties to protect, to also include our most vulnerable poor populations who are incarcerated pending court for the singular reason that they live in poverty. These citizens disproportionately include women and black persons and other persons of color. These are people who remain in jail pending court, yet not found guilty, not yet sentenced, simply because they are poor and do not have the same resources as those who have been accused of the same infractions, but who were able to buy their release be availed. Do you know anything about ending cash bail? That was news to me. But when I found out about it, I knew that it was time for something to be done. If we don't stand for something, we will fall for anything. The preamble to the Constitution starts out, we the people. And the, uh, the Pledge of Allegiance to the Flag says, liberty and justice for all. So until this is ended, we don't have that. This is not the way to treat our people, to treat the less fortunate, to treat the poor. And when we bailed out those four black mamas, that was the best feeling that I had had for such a long time. Terminate unjustly against those who are economically disadvantaged, or in other words, poor. Blacks are disproportionately unable to pay their bail, and therefore lack funds that are incarcerated until jail. The current system punishes those who lack funds or have access to funds. This is not fair. 